Hi there. Uh, in class yesterday, we were looking at the concept of marginal cost. So the concept of marginal cost is introduced in this short video using, I hope, some straightforward numerical examples. First of all, what do we mean by marginal cost? Well, to a business, marginal cost is the change in their total costs as a result of a one unit change in production. So essentially, it's a concept that describes the increase in the total production cost when producing or supplying one more unit of a good or service. Now, there's no diagrams in this video. Just look through, let's look through some simple calculations so you get a feel for marginal cost. In this situation, the firm is increasing output from zero to four. Now, you'll notice here that they have some cost, $200, even if they didn't produce any output. And economists call those fixed costs. Costs you have to bear even if production is zero. As output goes up, cost goes up, as you can see, and that's because the variable costs of production are starting to increase. But we're concerned with marginal cost in this video. So the first unit adds $60 to cost. The second unit adds $40 to cost. The third unit adds $20 dollars to cost and so too the fourth unit the fourth unit adds twenty dollars to cost in the situation that's what we mean by the marginal cost of production the change in total cost tc divided by the change in output which in this case of course is a one unit change i hope that makes sense here's a second situation where output is rising again from zero but this time in blocks of five so the firm isn't increasing um output just by a singular unit they're going up in in blocks of five and again there are fixed costs of a thousand pounds that they have to pay even if output is zero again you see costs are rising now the marginal cost is the cost of the one unit change so this time we know what the change in total cost is shown in column two there but we have to divide by five because that's the change in quantity so the first five units add £300 to cost, divide by five, each of them is uh, adding £60 to cost. Next five units adds £250 to cost, the marginal cost becomes 50 That's Actually the same for the next little block, taking us from 10 to 15 So each of those units has added £50 to cost. And then the last five units it looks as if the costs have risen by 400 pounds well divide by five you get a marginal cost here of 80 80 pounds for each of those extra units now here's the situation uh, this time output is going up in units of 20 from 0 to 20 to 40 60 80 and so on again we have five thousand pounds of fixed cost cost we have to pay even if output is zero now what do you notice happening to marginal cost in this third example should find that uh, the marginal cost of those first 20 units is 50 because each of those 20 units is adding 50 pounds to cost but it's also true for the next 20 units and the next 20 units and the next 20 units in this situation the marginal cost is constant meaning that each extra unit produced as the same amount to a firm's total costs. What we'll do uh, in uh, later videos is look at the marginal cost curve and theory explanation. But in this situation, the marginal cost for the firm is the same. Now, in a separate video, to follow on from this, we'll look at some examples of marginal cost applied to a variety of markets. Okay, thank you.